Hello and welcome back to Destination Education where the students and staff are the stars. And we begin this week's show by recognizing our amazing school counselors. February 7th through 11th is National School Counselor Week and we would like to thank all of you for your tremendous impact you have on student success and helping our students plan for their future. Now, 5th grade advanced learning program student Kellen McDaniels recently accepted an invitation to participate in the National Youth Leadership Forum Pathways to STEM program at Northwest University in Seattle, Washington this coming July. NYLF Pathways to STEM is a unique learning experience for bright, forward-thinking elementary school students who will evolve into next-generation innovators, engineers, doctors, software developers, and scientists. I'm just trying to go to this camp to see what to learn more about myself and more and see what other kids are like and just try and learn some new things over the summer. Students will learn by doing hands-on simulations and workshops. They also have the opportunity to choose the experience that is best suited for them by selecting either the six-day residential or the five-day program. Now, Kellen is also looking for donations to help with some of his expenses for his trip. If you are interested in contributing, you may contact the Lewis and Clark principal for more information. Now, this next story leads me to my current location for this week. The Syringa Middle School Robotics Club has been preparing hard for months for the state tournament, which will take place here from 7.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, March 5th. During the past few months, students have learned about the engineering design process, programming, and building the actual robot. One of the important things that they learn at the middle school level is how to just build in a way that works because you can have they have a lot of great imagination they do a lot of great drawings and then they find there's only certain ways that things will work and they learn about gear ratios and they learn about sensors and they learn about all the different parts and how to put them together and that of course leads to them being much more successful when they go to the robotics program at the high school for instance or even just the engineering program at the high school each year the game at the state tournament changes meaning the course and the obstacles are different to get a robot working and moving like this takes a lot of time, dedication, and patience. We gotta start with a lot of the basics of like how do they work and how do you put things together. And then as they, they develop that and they, they build different types of robots, they have to use a lot of uh, testing to see does this work, does it work reliably. Today they're gonna start programming because there's a part where you have to let your robot do its own thing. They're gonna be starting to work on that so they're getting some good coding skills. And lastly, students at Jefferson and Syringa Middle Schools will have the opportunity to learn about the career technical education programs offered at Caldwell High School during the CTE Middle School Recruiting Day. Recruiters will be at Syringa Middle School on Tuesday, February 10th and Jefferson Middle School on Tuesday, February 15th. Now make sure to tune in next week to see where the highlights will take me. Thank you for watching and have a great week.